Hey everyone and welcome back to another video and I'm excited for today's video because guys season 4 uh, it comes out on August 11th which is exactly in two days from this video that I'm posting August 11th at 8 a.m pacific standard time so definitely uh go ahead and convert that to your time zone but guys before we go ahead and look at all the new stuff that is coming to season 4 definitely hit that subscribe button turn on live notifications you just could be notified when i upload a new video we're on the road to a thousand subscribers and if we can make it happen that'll be sick also for the youtube algorithm go ahead and leave a like in this video and also leave a comment down below let me know if you guys are excited for the new season i mean dude i know i'm excited man i know i i, I just can't wait for this man i cannot wait for this new season but here we go so here we go season four coming august 11th there's a lot of news here first of all there's a lot coming like 2v2 tournaments and more coming in season four 2v2 tournaments um, normally it'll be 3v3, but now it's going to be 2v2 as well. And also they're going to be adding more tournaments. So there's going to be tournaments maybe like almost all day. So you guys could be able to get those tournament rewards a lot easier, which would be pretty, pretty cool for you guys. We'll go ahead and select this. I'm not going to read everything that is on here, but basically what it's saying is yes, they're, they're expanding the schedule for the tournaments. There's going to be a lot of 3v3 tournaments. There's going to be a lot of 2v2 tournaments as well. So if you guys only have one teammate, boom now you guys don't have to rely on a random teammate you guys can just go ahead and play with uh with just you know just you and your other teammate the main one right here gallop into season four on august 11th dude oh my god i that scared the crap out of me i know you guys can't hear anything you guys can't hear anything but there is a loud song right here but yeah so you guys can see and then we'll go ahead and play that video one more time i'll go ahead and put a full screen as well we'll go ahead and react to this i know you guys can't hear it maybe i could go ahead and unmute this so you guys could be able to hear it there we go now you guys could hear it um there's the new car that's coming to rocket league and there's the new stadium that is coming to rocket league as well that new stadium looks pretty sick man so i think i'm not sure is it, it looks normal it looks like a normal it looks like a normal field and that actually looks pretty sick because um it's it's nothing fancy like the other stadiums that they released they released two stadiums before and both of them were just too much going on but this one just looks plain it looks simple it's called dead eye canyon that's gonna be sick i'm actually excited for that bring your pose and hit the dusty trail beginning august 11th at 8 a.m pacific standard time 3 p.m utc you guys could go ahead and convert the time zones this all new season is taking you to the new arena called dead eye canyon which looks pretty sick rolling out the rudy root rootinist tootinist rootinist tootinist rocket pass yet expanding the competitive schedule uh, for tournaments and much more so the latest car outlaw is on the loose and it is wanted for boost stealing and demo hunting capturing the rocket pass premium along with the 70 plus tiers of the shiniest loot this side of dead eye canyon including no name topper tanker wheels amico decal and lava boost hey what is this minecraft all right check them out on octane on the octane below so these are the items you guys could get on the rocket pass i guess that's pretty cool as always okay we already know what the rocket pass is dust and dead eye canyon welcome to your new home on the range dead eye canyon take a sneak peek at the gorgeous new arena and the teaser above and get ready to hit the dirt and all standard playlists when season four launches so expanded competitive tournaments we actually we already went over that so that's gonna be pretty cool I, I you know i'm excited i feel like i'm going to be doing a bunch of tournaments now especially with this new season ltm's on the horizon 2v2 heat seeker will kick off okay so there we go we got we got 2v2 heat seeker coming back then be on the lookout for speed demon on august 19th so that, that sounds brand new speed demon on august 19th this fast this super fast ltm combines mutators the speed of boomer ball without the wild bounces demos on contact and a fast respawn timer spring loaded the rumble variant that is currently a mutator option in private matches will also be added to the ltm mix later this month okay cool some new ltms are coming if you guys play that i mean yeah i guess that's cool new features and changes coming to this update streamer safe and music feature that's sick for all you streamers that stream on on twitch that stream on youtube that stream on facebook this is gonna be pretty sick so no more copyrighted music like you're gonna be able to select streamer safe music i mean i i have music disabled on rocket league but i definitely want to enable it here and there as well but i just can't because i know it's gonna be copyrighted but yeah cool so they're gonna add streamer safe mode so you'll be protected from dmca which is going to be incredible this setting will affect both rocket league radio as well as player anthems okay undersized party rank restrictions now this is so cool especially for those that solo queue in 3v3s this is a really cool feature that they're adding in order to play competitive with like a friend of yours in a 3v3 match you have to be within three ranks of that of that teammate so for example let's just say that i have a friend of mine i'm currently grand champ by the way i'm grand champ one so now because i'm grand champ one i cannot play with the diamond three player in ranks anymore they have to either be champ one champ two or champ three in order for them to play 
ranked with me in a 3v3 game so this is a really cool because sometimes you could be like sometimes you could be solo queuing for example i've this happened to me multiple times where i'm solo queuing in 3v3s and then i'll go ahead and get into a game and then i have a teammate that is in the same rank as me but then his teammate is like only like plat or something or like diamond and they like screw up so many times which causes me to lose games as well so now we're gonna prevent that which is pretty cool sure the gap might still be a little bit too 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 much to be honest because i think if you're champ three you could still team up with like a diamond three player with diamond three players trust me diamond players are not champ ready they're not champ ready whatsoever if you're a diamond player and you're a person that says i deserve champ trust me you're gonna go to champ you're gonna d rank right away trust me on that but yes finally they do something to fix that that's pretty cool i like that idea a lot so maybe there's gonna be more solo queues now in 3v3s i don't know we'll go ahead and see what happens improvements to casual matches honestly i could care less about casual matches but we know it could be frustrating when teammates leave casual matches early and we're taking steps to improve the experience don't tell me don't tell me you're gonna get banned for leaving casual matches now after the update we're adding the ability to forfeit casual matches just like competitive matches if all players on the team vote to concede the casual match will end just like it were in competitive match with the option to concede being added we're also adding match making bans for players who continually leave casual matches for the players that only occasionally leave casual matches there will be no penalty for leaving one casual match per day so you can only leave one casual match per day but other than that you got to play the whole thing however the bans will get longer if more casual matches are abandoned we hope this changes i mean <sighs> I don't know how i feel about that to be honest i mean casual matches are casual matches like we don't care about casual matches at all i could care less if i'm playing casual and my teammate leaves like i'm playing casual matches just to play like i i'm not playing casual matches uh to be very competitive you know what i mean like i i could care less about casual matches and i don't care if my teammate leaves because sometimes the ai is better than the teammate or you're just gonna get a new teammate as well i don't know i don't know how i feel about this let me know what you guys think i personally don't think that's a good idea so the updates are coming so on august 10th which is tomorrow for me at 4 p.m pacific standard time there's gonna be uh they're gonna lay the groundwork for the launch of season four competitive season three ends on 7 30 a.m pacific standard time on august 11th so it ends 30 minutes before and competitive rewards will be distributed after season four begins season four will begin on august 11th at 8 a.m so get ready for the biggest hoedown and hootenny ever to hit rocket league dude this season uh you know but what's cool about rocket league is the fact that you know they don't have to change any mechanics to make the game better but this is what makes the game a little bit harder for us i guess because if we compare like this game with like like call of duty we compare this game to wars to uh to fortnite stuff like that like in fortnite there's emotes there are new skins there's all sorts of cool stuff that you could do in each season they, they could they could change the map for for fortnite they could change the map for call of duty they could add all these skins all these rocket these battle passes whereas in rocket league like you're just gonna get items for your car and most people aren't even gonna use the items for your car as well so this is the thing when it comes to rocket league where where a new season comes but it's gonna be basically the same thing over and over and over and i completely understand why people are just getting burnt out of the game because they're not getting new things it's a new season it's gonna be cool within the first couple of days but after that people are gonna get bored of it it has happened for the past three seasons but that's 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 just rocket league to be honest that's rocket league like there is really nothing much they could go ahead and add there i mean i'm excited for a new season i'm ready to get my grand champ rewards for the first time ever so that's gonna be pretty cool in the comments below let me know know what rank or what rank rewards you guys are going to be getting for this new season again i'm getting grand champ rewards finally however i'm also going to have uh supersonic legend rewards too not on my account but it's going to be on my friend's account he's letting me borrow his account so i could go ahead and show off the rewards for you guys which are going to be decals which is going to be sick ladies and gentlemen that is it for today's video again we're on the road to a thousand subscribers so if you guys are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on live notifications so you guys could be notified when I upload a new video. But guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye.